But my name is Frank P. Falsof, and I was a miner. Unfortunately, I wasn't a very successful one. About a mile away from here, I was in a mine, and it unfortunately caved in and crushed my legs. Luckily, they were able to get me out and down to Sacramento, but I lay there in agony for several days before ultimately dying August 1st, 1903, a fortnight before my 23rd birthday. My parents were immigrants. My father, Casper, was from Germany. My mother, Philomena, was from Switzerland. They had my eldest brother, Emil, in New York when they got there, and me and the rest of the family when they got here to California. My father was a stonemason by trade, and on my grave it does say, born in California. I like to think that he himself put that there to sort of commemorate the fact that he managed to do what many immigrant parents wanted to do, have a child in the country that they immigrated to. Well, after my death, Emil, undoubtedly pushed by my mother, decided that mining was not exactly a healthy long-term profession and went to something a little more safer, brewing. He owned and operated the Mountain Brewery until 1920, when Prohibition snuck up on him and shut him down. It's a shame, too, because I was told that his beer was billed as a curative tonk by the New York Health and Safety Board. And it would cure everything from heat stroke to digestive issues. It even won the blue ribbon at the Chicago World Fair. Emil had three sons, William, Elmer and Frank, and these three brothers would eventually buy the Placerville Hardware Store from Albert Kuypers in 1954. I'd like to think that my nephew Frank was named after me, to sort of give him the life I never got. He certainly earned it, being Placerville's longest serving firefighter. And they say that while he was in the hardware store, which the counter used to be the bar head from Mountain Brewery. But while he was working there and he heard the alarm bell at the firehouse, he'd run out and down the middle of the street just to avoid pedestrians. My mother owned and operated the Falso family farm where she sold fruit to the miners and begrudgingly my father's fruit wine to the miners. I just now realized I haven't been out to that farm since my accident. I think I'll take a little walk out there tonight, maybe. A little moonlit stroll. What do you guys think? Thank you.